In this video, we're going to take and change this plane from a raster to a vector cut. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take and get rid of the bounding box because we're going to need that. I'll leave the plane here for reference, but I'm going to go and open up Inkscape, which I've already opened, and I'm going to import our plane image that we've already, mod already trimmed down. So I'm going to hit Import. I'm going to select the small plane. I'm going to smooth, make sure it's set for smooth, and I do want to set for file. So I'm going to bring this in and zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. And the first step was we were going to take and we're going to right click and tell this to take and trace bitmap. Now, this dialog, there's a lot here to look at. There are different settings for here. We can look at brightness cutoff and edge detection. That looks pretty good. I don't like color quantization. Auto trace, update. Interesting. Um, let's see how this auto trace works because it's a new fix. OK. Now, it doesn't look like much happened, but if I take and move this, there should be two versions. There is my image copy. You can see it has pixelated sides, and we have our auto trace version. It looks okay, although it's a little swoopy. Let's take and delete that, and let's try again and see if we can change that to be a little cleaner. So I'm going to right click, trace bitmap. I'm going to go and Bring the error threshold down to 1, and the pass is up to 10. I'm going to hit update, and let's hit OK and see what we end up with. So again, it's going to place it on top of there. That looks much better. So I'm going to delete this file. I'm now going to do file. I'm going to save this as plane.svg. I'm going to make sure it's put in my downloads folder so I know where it is. And I'm going to go into my Lizard Box. I'm going to now import the plain SVG file. So it looks similar, except it's all purple. And what that means is this would cut out this shape. Now, it's a little weird looking. Maybe this isn't something I'd actually want to do. But I've now com completed making this into a vector file, which means it will cut out these pieces. The windows will fall out of it. And it's going to be a much faster cut time. So that's how I vectorize an image.